Are you ready for another X-Men Omnibus? Uh, Marvel's popping these out like candy, and uh, you know what? We're here for it. Today we're looking at the new X-Men, uh, the run from uh, X-Men, of course, by Grant Morrison. I believe this is a reprint, so if I am... I think I do. You know what? Let's check on the shelf. <gasps> oh, well, look what I have here. I have a Grant Morrison Omnibus X-Men with a different cover. So this is like... I don't know if this is probably an older cover, as you can see there, but... That's not what we're here for. We're looking at the new one. Here is the standard. This is, I believe, the first issue. Here's the front. Spine. And the back. Very cool. And then we have the DM. It's front. Spine. And the back. Personally, I prefer the uh, standard. I like this cool, like, you know, walking in behind, the, be, walking before an explosion or after an explosion and pew and like background and the shadows. All cool. I like this one. Uh, so let's take a look at them together. Here you go. Here is the standard spine right there. And then the DM spine over here on this side. So there you go. Now let's take a look underneath. Oh yeah, I saw this earlier. So cool. I like the spread. I like it a lot. There you go. Boom. Look at that. That's really cool. I like that Wolverine front and center. That's my boy. You know, four eyes got to stick together. We got to wear glasses. There you go. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this book. So let's check out this uh, new X-Men title. Here we go. And as you saw, it contains, it looks like, probably the, the whole run of Grant Morrison's uh, X-Men, new X-Men line. Uh, let me tell you what it said. Let's see. New X-Men, new mission. The wildly innovative Eisner Award-nominated Grant Morrison X-Men saga collected in its entirety in a single volume. The year was 2001. And after nearly four decades of adventures, the X-Men mutated into something completely new. Visionary writer Grant Morrison and his artistic collaborators reimagined the mutant heroes with a new look and a new sense of mission to face a world of weird new threads. Uh, genocidal evil twins, ghoulish organ-harvesting hybrids, sentient bacteria, rebellious mutant youth, power-enhancing street drugs, alien invasions, living weapons, and more. X-Men founder Charles Xavier dutifully deputed... Uh, Dutiful, dutiful deputy leader Cyclops and his fiery wife Jean Grey, animalistic intellectual beast, and savage warrior Wolverine are joined by two unlikely new recruits, the wicked telepath Emma Frost and the mysterious powerhouse Sorn. Let me just open this more. Oh, you hear that cracking. Oh, this is a brand new book. Uh, together they take the uh, mysterious... Uh, together they take the X-Men public, exposing their secrets to the world, giving the team a global presence through the International X Corporation, expanding... Xavier School to train a new generation of mutants that includes the insect-like angel, the bird boy beak, the living sandstorm dust, and the eerie telepathic quintuplets known as the Stepford Cuckoo Cuckoos. Uh, more personal changes come into play as a rise in secondary mutations sees familiar mutants evolving new forms and new powers. The team's core relationships are tested when Emma Frost sets her seductive sights on married teammate Cyclops and the all-consuming phoenix powers within Jean Grey threaten to rise again. And in all the while, uh, shocking traitors within the X-Men family plot the destruction of everything the team has worked to build. See it all in Grant Morrison's complete new X-Men, featuring the Shire Imperial Guard, the X-Corporation, Quicksilver, Phantom X, and more. So definitely, uh, you know, the, they wanted to do, you know, new, cool, you know, especially Grant Morrison, who does a great job at that. Uh, with stories, um, you know, get to see that in, in this one. Now, if you have read it, do you like it? Do you like uh, Grant Morrison's X-Men run? Uh, what did you think about it? Because I know there's been a lot of that. I know the Claremont, the Lee, you know, runs, uh, you know, with, uh, I mean, right now, you have Jonathan Hickman doing the the X-Men run, of his X-Men run. So let me know what you guys will rank this one. Where would you put it at? 
Do you recommend it for new ones or you know new readers? Let's take a look at some of the uh, extras. So you actually have, which is really cool, like Grant Morrison's uh, pitch for the X Men, along with some of like the notes that they put on here. Really cool, the designs that he had. Uh, and it's basically like the whole the whole pitch on it. I was reading a little bit of it. It's really interesting. He definitely wanted to bring back the uniforms, like have a uniform for the team, uh, make it more progressive. Because at that time, 2001, you're looking at the movie that had just come out, so he definitely wanted to take inspiration from that, but not make it all leather and not be as dark as the Ultimates, because the Ultimate has also uh, uh, had come out at that time as well. So he didn't want to take those as you know. He wanted to shift a little bit um, and make it definitely easier, more accessible for somebody to read it without having to read all of the previous X-Men, so that's really cool. That's really cool. You get some of these storyboard panels here, sequences. Uh, very cool. Uh, some of the black and white drawings of it, as you see here. Uh, and then some of Mark Silvestri's uh, drawings on it, which are really cool. So that's, that's pretty cool. Here's some more covers. Look really nice. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know of what you guys think of the costumes. Uh, and uh, if you're interested in getting this run, I believe this is a reprint, if I'm not mistaken. If I am, let me know. Uh, the ones that I saw was had a different cover. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you'd rather get the uh, standard right here or the uh, DM. I like the uh, standard. I like that background like that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Leave a comment down below, and I will see you in the next one.